Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Campeche, Mexico. Before we get into the video, Backcountry is sponsoring this video and they decked us out for the beach. Sun is up, we're ready to eat. But before breakfast happens, I wanna give you guys a quick introduction to where we are right now. Campeche is definitely one of the less known parts of the Yucatan area. You've got places like Cancun, Playa del Carmen that are super touristy. Here is empty. So we just popped upon this little palapa here and um, don't really know whose it is, but until they tell us to leave, we're staying. This morning we were out here, like early, early this morning, we were watching these huge pelicans dive and fish for their food. For hours, dude. For hours. Where are they, little pelican I boys? I think the water picked up so they can't... They can't, they can't dive anymore? Yeah. Also, I've already seen something like six iguanas today. Wow. I know, I keep seeing them. I'm really afraid of them too. Like I really <laughs> want to chill with them, but they also like, every time I hear a wave, I think it's an iguana hissing at me. It's like. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. So I went, to, I went to go to the restroom today and I'm like creeping through palm trees, just like with my little toilet paper. And I just keep hearing the waves and I, and I see iguanas like, I was like, ah! <laughs> Almost. This entire beach is just like shells breaking up. The water is full of broken up shells, huh? Yeah. We'll find a good one, don't you worry. Don't you worry. What are we gonna do if we find a good shell though? Listen to it. Oh really? Have you never done that before? I've done it before. It's just kind of like not that amazing, you know? I just haven't done it in a long time. It's so like my childhood day. Dying to do it? Yeah, I hear dying you. Dying to do it. I hear you. This beach is empty. Except for that cute girl. Trying to find shells. This beach is literally empty. The only people I've seen today are these construction workers <clears throat> who must have been like on some kind of break because they walked down, they picked some coconuts, and they walked back. Pick some coconuts to eat? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, maybe we should do that. I know, I want to find out where they picked their coconuts. Yeah, the beach, all the sand is just like shells that are currently trying to decompose. And the closer you get to the water, the less decomposed they are. So as we walk on them, we create the sand. That's so crazy. This, one, this is like a perfect shell. Oh, there's a lot of perfect shells right here. All just making sand, making sand. Sorry little shells, I'm sacrificing your lives to make sand. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. What? That's a horseshoe crab. Whoa! I've never seen that in real life. You don't think it's a lie, right? If it is, then I'm gonna be messed up. <laughs> So they're really preyed upon by pharmaceutical companies for their blue blood for some reason. Right. Okay, but it doesn't. It's not poisonous, is it? I think so. Oh God. Please go. Please go, little buddy. No, go. Whoa! Get it. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come please on. go back to sea, little you buddy. Got it, you got it. You got it. Please go back to sea, little Darth Vader helmet. Oh, yeah. there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Woo! Go, buddy. Go. Go, buddy. Go. I feel like maybe we should Google it. How to save a horseshoe crab? Yeah. It's a very specific Google. <laughs> but like, do how much water do they need? Like, are they like, like full on water? Water people, right? Yeah, they're a water based animal. <laughs> <laughs> they're water people. We wish you all the best. We wish you all the best, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Please live. Please be fulfilled in your life. Don't let those pharmaceutical companies get your blood. Don't let them. Mr. Horseshoe Crab, don't let them! These are the palm trees that are covered in iguanas. They sound like iguanas too. I know. 
So there's a bathroom in here and a shower in here. Are you ready to venture through Iguana Forest to find it? Okay. All right, let's go. You go first. Okay. I've already been here, so you have to go on your own journey. Iguana Forest, here I come. There you come. I know everything sounds like an iguana right now, doesn't it? I don't even know what iguanas sound like, but if I were to guess, the sounds the palm trees are making when they rub against each other? Iguanas. Is, exactly. is this my bathroom? It's your bathroom. Wow. It's your shower. Wait. Yeah. Can you believe that? Oh my. Let me see if it works. Okay. Whoa! Totally works. Whoa, wow. nice. Well, this toilet has a door. Oh. Holy smokes, this is a nice toilet. There's bees everywhere though. Careful. Oh, whoa. Careful, there's bees everywhere. There are bees everywhere in the toilet. In the whoa, there's like 40 bees in the toilet. <laughs> what? Alright. Not my no uh, toilet is bathroom. No toilet is perfect. <laughs> True. Hello, Iguana buddy. Oh, don't run away. Ah, Mr. Iguana. Where are you going, buddy? Look how blended in. Can you guys even see him? Right there? I just had a weird thought. Iguanas are the squirrels of the beach. On the hunt for some cocos? What do you look for this in a good cocoa? A lot of milk in it. You want to try to cut it open? Not well, there you go. <laughs> Ew. Ah. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. What does it taste like? <laughs> Spoiled milk. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you fully committed to that too. <laughs> My baby. Yes. How are you feeling? You know, I'm feeling like I need to do more than I like. <laughs> been at this beach and I'm just vibed out babe. I'm just thinking because I'm so vibed out right now. We're gonna be at the beach for a long time. We're gonna be exploring the Yucatan and I'm super super excited about it. Obviously backcountry has absolutely decked us out um, for us to have the best adventure here possible. I'm just trying to think like what can we do that like really pushes us out of our comfort zone. Because I'm thinking about that I was wondering what you guys are gonna do this summer that's gonna push yourselves out of your comfort zone. I'd love for you to comment below so we can get some inspiration on maybe some things that we should try. So like maybe you're gonna go on an overnight camping trip this summer or you're gonna try a new sport like kayaking or paddleboarding or something like that. If you have something in mind that you really wanna try this summer, first of all, you should comment below and let us know what it is. And second of all, you might think about backcountry. One of the things that I love about backcountry is that they have former Olympians, athletes, and guides who um, are like their customer service reps. So you can go online and you can chat with them and get their um, insight on like what gear you should have that will work really well for the adventure that you wanna have and also your budget. Also, on that note, as you guys know, we don't have many clothes or anything, so <laughs> we like to buy really high quality because our stuff doesn't break. And uh, Backcountry absolutely has decked us out in some really nice quality brands. For you guys, you guys have a 15% discount with Backcountry if you use the link in the description box. So if you have an adventure you're looking forward to this summer, if you want 15% off on any gear that you'll need, click on the link in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy. I am so thrilled to be able to work with them because they're a company we love and use already. We use in our daily life all the time. So this is just kind of plugging something that we all already you know, recommend. <laughs> we appreciate them supporting this adventure and I hope that you guys will take advantage of a 15% discount to support your next adventure. I'm gonna try to cut this sucker. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. I don't think I have a strong enough knife for this. I feel like you should take out the, the saw that we have. Oh, true, that would work. Very I curious. feel like You're I first packing. need- Oh God. All right, well, um, I'm going to start breakfast. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna- He's working on breakfast. <laughs> You're working on your own I'm breakfast. Working on the beverages. On the beverages. There you go. Oh. Whoa, this is perfect. Thank you. All right, let's see if it'll if it's good or not. This could be awful. <laughs> Smell it first. Or something. It's definitely not spoiled. 
Good. I don't get a sip. You're about to. Your friends always get sips before me. I wonder if we should go collect more and put them in the fridge. Yeah, let's do it. We can make homemade coconut milk. It's pretty good, right? Give a, give a quick sipper here. Right. True. It's scary. I know, just go ahead and go deep. You know what, it is good, but like, and it's very romantic, but if I bought that at a grocery store, <laughs> you'd be store, pissed. And I had a sip, I'd be like, I wouldn't buy it again. But, but you didn't buy it. How much did you pay for this again? You foraged for it. I'm just saying, you foraged just, for it. Just, just on the scale of like, the enjoyment, like, had this been purchased at a grocery store, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy I it wouldn't again. I wouldn't buy that at the grocery there store. There are brands I like more. <laughs> Come Put on, it. it's like an avocado. Oh, there you go. Oh! Ready for this reveal? Yes, yeah, so ready. Hot time. Yeah! So listen, alright, do you want to go on a girl's date and go find some coconuts? Yes, okay. I would love to. Let's go do that. I thought you love that idea. <laughs> Enjoy your cocos. Are you going to make breakfast while we're gone? I'm going to make breakfast. Thanks, friend. You're welcome. Here's the girl where we found the cocos. Like they were about, around. like, underneath the trees, okay. but then I also think I can, like, I was trying to, like, chuck the cocos yeah. and knock them off. I also know there's more trees, like, down there, too. Okay, let's start at grove number one. Yeah. Tried and true. Okay. And then we'll move forward if we need it. There's a bunch of green boys up there. That is more than it looks to throw. Go, yeah, hey! Right! <laughs> oh, <man>. Be <laughs> <laughs> very alert. Your life is more important than the video. I know, I need a backup. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Oh. <laughs> Hit it! <laughs> it is so hard to get down! <laughs> uh -huh. At least your shirt looks really good. Thank you, man. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Should we go suss out some more groves? Yeah, I think we should just keep walking. Okay, you're the boss here. I'm, I'm... I feel like we really just need ones that have fallen. True, 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 true. Ari just lost her Tiva and she's totally... Just In off. That's right, incapable of walking at this point, huh? Yeah, I can't walk without it. <laughs> I think we just found a good grove. Man, Ari's on fire with the grove finding. I think this is the one. This okay, is big. that's the one. This is a big one too. This is a good one. Um, let's go check out. I see another one over there that might be okay. Okay. Once we get four, we will have considered a job well done. Grab anything that looks decent, and the worst case scenario, we just carry it 100 yards and throw it away. How's the work going, Benny? Up? How's the work going for you? It's good. The internet's kind of rough, but I'm, make, I'm making it work. You're making it work? Good, man. How's breakfast going, babe? It's almost done. You guys really? find some coconuts? Yeah, we found four. Nice. Is it hard to find them? Yes, very. Yeah. Ari has a pretty good coconut nose. I think she found all the good ones. I don't know if they're good. Yeah, we'll see. find out. A little weird. Hmm. That one's good. You ready for breakfast? Finally. So ready. We have this uh, little, I don't know what to call them, chilaquiles situation, I guess, inspired by our friend Sergio and Montana. Right. So that's p chips, tofu, what else? Peppers? Uh, some tomatoes and like some different seasonings and stuff. We're gonna throw some beans on here. This is some refried beans and normal beans. We got some pico over here and key ingredient. Beautiful. Thank you for breakfast. You're welcome. I'm so excited. Do you want to go um, eat it down at the beach? So badly. What do you think? Amazing. You like it? Such a satisfying meal. Mm. Amazing, man. Wow. Let's check out this view. 
Also, disaster is absolutely struck there. The tide has come in. Oh, there he is. He's discovering it. <laughs> you getting ready for that ocean water? I only allow myself like 20 minutes a day on this pasty white skin <laughs> of direct sunlight. Wait, 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 wait. Have you, you haven't like washed off your... No, 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 no. I'm okay. still sunscreen. Okay, well we need like probably 10 minutes back. I've like. been like <laughs> having a really deep V today with the shirt. <laughs> so I think I'm, I'm gonna... Can you guys see this tan line actually? Can you yeah. see the V? So that's because I've been wearing this shirt every minute of every day. <laughs> um, it's just like fits the mood, you know? Right. But anyway, today I let it I let it sag down. So I think I'm gonna get a really deep V. <laughs> that's Aubrey's ocean dance right there. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> now that we have had our little dip, we need a shower. This whole area honestly kind of feels like a place where ghost children come to play. Definitely. More like Swiss Family Robinson kids. Yeah, true. Maybe the ghost of the Swiss Family Robinson kids? True. I mean, like, it looks like their playground right there. <laughs> Get down, little spiders. No! Okay, fine, I won't watch them down if you give me the soap. Okay, here you go. Thank you, my friend. I'm going for the hair first because it's just out of control. <laughs> you got a really good angle on your coyote. Really? Jody yeah, the coyote. Jody the coyote. Yeah. Good. All right, my turn. That was amazing. Can I uh, use your chacos in the shower? Sure. Whatever you want to do. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Wow, goodness. All right. There you go. It's all yours, dog. These shoes are the biggest shoes I think I've ever put on. I know, they're huge. They're huge. <laughs> Let me just uh, tighten these little strappies. They make my feet look like dinosaurs. <laughs> my feet are dinosaur feet, so. <laughs> yes. All right. And my feet are trying to be. It's okay, <laughs> little feetsies, you'll grow into them someday. <laughs> no, you won't. Really hope I'm not disturbing all these spiders. <laughs> Thank you for the use of your chocos. Very much oh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Can oh. I have them back yet? Yeah, you can. I really hope I didn't. Um, splunk, 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 <laughs> splunk. Didn't squish any spiders inadvertently with my dinosaur shoes. But <laughs> those times where you have a little uh, uh, un unforeseen shower are just great times. Goodbye, son. Bye. See you tomorrow. Dinner time. So Ari said she was in the mood for pasta. I'm like, sounds great. Do you want me to, uh, you know, freestyle an Alfredo type sauce? And she said yes. Never done this before. We're gonna see if I can make something good with like cashews and garlic and that's pretty much it. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I just created a new sauce. Would you like to try it? Totally. It's amazing. <laughs> really? I did it. <laughs> Christian decided to make himself a little sushi set. <laughs> and now he's putting the Alfredo sauce on the sushi. <laughs> oh my god. That's from our place? <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Is it good? It's so good. Good. So you can make a million dollars off of that. <laughs> It's time for dinner! Can you grab those plates and forks on the bed? No, ew! What? No, stop! Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's go over... Did you really think I was going to drink it? Yeah. That's definitely something you would do. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go over to our friend's house for dinner. Cool. Yeah, give it a full dunk. I got the hot sauce out too. I knew Chris was coming. Oh my girl! <laughs> How satisfying is it to dump like cashew cheese in mass on the pasta. Yeah. Just, I also like, love don't, using a spatula. Well, okay, if you like spar the pasta like that, you're gonna oh. break it up. So just Jeez. be careful. Jeez. Would you like me to do it? No. Exactly. Am there you better go. Now? Much better. All right, thank, thanks moms. Appreciate <laughs> it. 
We're just your cooking uh, slash teachers. But my everything else teachers. Is that right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like coaches, you like <laughs> I have a spatula too if you want to like scrape it. Can't do it. Did you just lick that? Nope, I thought about it. What are you doing up there, Benny Goldstein? Playing the greatest video game of all time. Which is? There's a cutscene too, so. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know what game it is. <laughs> it's uh, Final Fantasy VII. Wow. Sounds yeah, relaxing. I want, all, I want to hear from all of my fellow Final Fantasy VII players. <laughs> because when you, when you know, you know. I'm sorry, but this is good. Wow, you just took the spotlight from Benny, really. I'm sorry. Aubrey's really like, really I want to insert myself physically between us and say, I'm sorry, but my food is good. She doesn't know. That's right, she, she doesn't know. Wow, my hair is so fluffy and clean. Looks beautiful. I haven't had clean hair in a long time. Thanks guys so much for watching. Really want to hear about the adventures that you're planning on going on this summer. So leave it in the comments below. Benny is just bossing. <laughs> you have anything else to say to them, Benny? I just wanted to see what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Benny. And good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We love you.